Good evening. Happy Friday. Instagram. Uh, boy, we are here on the whack pack. Sorry, as I'm a little out of breath, I was just coordinating a few last minute things, some nice little goodies, some fun stuff um, for you here. Uh, but yeah, we're here. Happy Friday. We made it to the whack pack. Uh, and we got a special guest for you today. Uh, go ahead and bring yourself in here. Uh, but yeah, this is the Whack Pack where every single day Rip rips open another pack of trading cards and here for Mental Health Awareness Month at every $100, uh, we will be uh, donating to smashing and bashing the stigma around mental health. And then also uh, for every $100 that we raise, I will chew the old gum. Okay. Let me uh... sideways. Let me rearrange just a little there bit. Are. Don't mind me. There you are. All right. There we go. Tope, this is long overdue. How the hell are you? You know what? I'm doing pretty good. 72 days, I want to say, uh, up in the Big Apple. Um, it's been, you know, uh, it's had its up and downs. Yeah. But this Shows like this have kept me afloat. Look, man, you're just a, a bastion, a paragon. Uh, uh, you know, a, a shining symbol saying that, look, it ain't easy, <laughs> but you're doing what has to be done. I'm staying inside, trying not to masturbate too much, well, and get a bit. You gotta do what you gotta do. Exactly. But you're not, that's the thing. It's like, that's proof that you're not doing it for yourself, you're doing it for everyone else. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Master masturbation and the getting fit. Yeah. For everyone else's enjoyment. And that hot tent, baby. Oh, the hot tent. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, cool, man. Well, again, like I said, uh, from, the, from the get, this is long overdue having you on the WAC Pack. Um, you've been an ardent supporter from day one. Thank you very much. You are currently frozen up. Um, but it's all right. We're going to keep going on. Then you're back. Uh, I gave you a <laughs> choice. I sent you pictures of... Uh, every set of cards that I had here, uh, and you chose, uh, do you remember what you chose, Tope? This is a couple days Uh, ago. I chose that prime year for professional wrestling, the 2009 pack, I believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just, just because I just want, like, I feel like that was such a delicate time, and just 11 years ago, seems like it was forever ago. Look at, look at yeah. that. Look at that beef, daddy. So not only is this like, if, even if they were 2009, again, these would be like retro now, but also they're like retro style cards as well. So get hit with a double dose of nostalgia. So I'm opening up this blaster box right now. And uh, let's see what we got here. So it comes with five of the regular packs that have five cards per pack. This feels thick. These are going to be some thick cards. And uh, contrary to what we have been doing, the, the gum that I have been hoarding over here has been anywhere from 1989 to 1990. This is from 2009 gum. So this might actually still be chewy. You got Maybe. some Obama gum. We, <laughs> we got that hope and change gum. <laughs> which, which, for gum, not that great. No, but honestly, I, I will welcome some hope and change gum at this point. Uh, we are only $25 away from me eating the next stick of gum, too. So will it be this gum? Also, there's a bonus pack in here as well. Like, a very unceremonial bonus pack. <laughs> this looks like Batman 66 labeled bonus pack. <laughs> so we'll save that. We'll save that for a little rainy day, but I'll still keep it with the, this box. For organization's sake, it's crazy, like, the packaging for these big blaster boxes. Because, like, look how big this is. It came with, with five packs. And, like, look at all that, like, empty space in there. I mean, big personalities, big muscles. You got to give them room to breathe. They're overcompensating <laughs> is what it is. <laughs> Let's be honest. Tell, All right, tell me you haven't bought something because it came in a big package. What's that? Tell me you haven't bought something because it came in a big package. And solely because it came in a big package. Hmm. 
Man, I'm really trying to think right now. I don't know what I bought simply because it came in a big package. Because I usually just buy most of my shit secondhand. <laughs> <laughs> no package required, baby. What about you? Yeah, I don't know why I asked that question because I had no answer either. <laughs> so okay, great. My own theory that uh, I put out was terrible. Well, you know, we're doing all we're all doing our <laughs> best, man. This is a this is a whack pack first. We got nutrition facts for the gum. Oh, yeah. So serving size one piece, six grams. Serving uh, amount per serving, twenty calories. No fat, no trans fat, no sodium. Two uh, five grams of carbs. Four grams of sugar, no protein. Uh, yeah, sugar, gum base, corn syrup, sorbitol, artificial flavor, glycerin, soy lecithin, artificial flavor, red 40, red 40 lake, and BHT. That old BHT making a comeback. <laughs> BHT ain't go nowhere. That is literally meth. That is meth. That's how you cook meth. Well, let's meth it up, baby. Let's do this. Uh, look for event used relics, Allen and Ginter supercards, die cut magnets. Here we go. Ribble H. I'm gonna open up this pack of cards uh, and we're gonna look at them. Uh, and oh my god, it's individually wrapped gum. Oh, which is, they're learning hard as a rock, so <laughs> no better. Than the rest of the gum. That is straight HGH. That this is goes solid HGH. Into there. That'll uh, that'll pass a wellness policy, you know. <laughs> tope. Oh, Tope. We are getting this kicked off in the perfect 2009 fashion because our first really? card is Jesse. <laughs> Jesse is more than just the tag team partner of friend Festus. He is also one of the quickest stars on SmackDown. Just quickest, not quickest rising or anything like that. Quickest stars. You can't just add to him someone just because. He's one of the fastest. He's one of the jump this. That's not a thing. As Stan the Dry Bear just pointed out, biscuits and gravy. <laughs> that man is built on biscuits and gravy. Oh, Tope. Oh, oh, buddy. I hope you're oh, ready. Oh. I really hope you're ready. I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to hold this up. Is that? Hold on. Because my... Is that, is, that, is that who I think it is? I, I, I need... Look at him! Look at him! Rachel! Look at him! <laughs> Can I cut a promo on B? If you a vegan, I don't like you, cause I like beef. I like my men five foot five. I men six. I don't care. <laughs> and I like them doing roids and cheating on their loved ones. Uh, yeah. Early in his career, Edge showed si Edge showed signs of greatness when he won the Intercontinental Championship in his home province of Ontario in his first year in WWE. Huh. Yeah. Uh, this is incredible. What a run we're on. Because uh, we're about to here to complete a little bit of a set. We had Jesse earlier, and now we got the big LG himself, Festus. Ah, uh, Festus. Somehow younger than everyone. <laughs> Festus's personality has endeared him to the WWE fans. <laughs> That's it. Well, I'm, I usually only read the first sentence, but yeah, so that's it. I mean, add a little bravado to the first sentence, card makers. Look, sometimes the, the copy on the back of these cards sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. <laughs> sometimes there's thought put into it and sometimes it's like, it's dark. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Uh, drop a number seven in WWE Uno because it's big show. So I, I guess the thing we're going, we're going redneck, movie star, redneck, 
movie stars. It's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see if that pattern continues after this. Uh, often when a superstar loses a match to an outside competitor, it negatively affects his career. I don't read past the first sentence. Why they should have my boy Big Show? <laughs> he's got that Netflix right. money now. He's got that Netflix money. Who gives a fuck? He's got he's got that uh, he's got that uh, tapped in straight to Ted Sarandos, motherfucker. Uh, all right. So what was the pattern that you recognized here, Tope? So we went from redneck to movie star, of course, to redneck to movie star. So this has to be a redneck. Uh, that would almost be a pawn swallow game. Who is this first line about? That could be fun. Uh, well, here we got Umaga. See, his neck gets ripped. No, no, that's just... So... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> After plowing through the best competition on Raw, Umaga found himself a whole new group of superstars to terrorize after coming to SmackDown in, in the 2008 WWE Draft. Well, that was a great year. This is also, like, actual information. Who made these stars? Thanks, Tops. I wish, I wish I knew who scouted him, though. Or, like, his high school stats. But like yeah. in kayfabe. <laughs> yeah, I guess in kayfabe it would be uh, what was his face? Uh, Estrada uh, went to you know uh, Samoa and just cut through the jungles. He was basically like kimchi for uh, uh, Kamala. <laughs> so that was uh, the pack. Um, but also, I got uh, just before we went live. I got some more packages in. Uh, not, I'm, I'm sure about what some are, and a little hazy on a few others. So, uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and see. Like, I think some are some cards, so we can, you know, kind of see again some more shit that I bought, and I think maybe ones from uh, uh, the stanchion. Um, but yeah, and then also in uh, just honor of today's episode of Podswag with me and Mullet. Just talking toys. I know I got some toys in there as well, so I'll be right back. All right. Um, I'll entertain the masses by saying uh, I was never really a toy guy or collector guy growing up. I was just like, why just get a bunch of stuff? That was me being a stupid, practical son of a Nigerian. But then you have to realize that everyone is a collector in some way. If you, if you do fitness, you're a collector of muscles, and if you love trivia you're a collector of knowledge and if you like if you're rich you're a collector of money everyone's a collector of something and we're all obsessed about it so collector of muscles is a gimmick that hasn't been explored yet <laughs> like, i feel like that's the best version of uh of, of skip in the new generation but just skip specifically because i can't think of the other one's name well yeah because skip was the muscle and zip was the speed Oh, hey, there you go. Thank you. You're a much better co-host than the one I have to talk to every week. It's just different, that's all. <laughs> Man, you know, hey. You can't tell me RJ isn't different. Oh, he... Is, that's the best quality about him. Uh, all right, so... I'm not sure what I want to open up first here. Um, I think everything else are... Figures. So let me go ahead and open this one up first. Um, of course, uh, if you are joining, who's, who do we got in here right now? Okay, so everyone from the beginning. Cool. Uh, but if you are on uh, IGTV watching this uh, and you somehow just skip to this middle portion, uh, for Mental Health Awareness Month, we are raising money for Stronger Than Stigma. They're out here trying to destroy the stigma that surrounds mental health. Um, and so for every $100 that we raise, uh, towards Stronger Than Stigma, I will eat the old, I will chew the old ass gum, uh, that is found within these packs. Uh, we are currently $25 away 
from the next time I do that. Uh, the episode with uh, Ozzy Canizales is the first one that I've had to do that for, and it was awful, but worth it. Hmm. Um, please, so I don't obviously can't fucking... donate because I'm on this with you, but if I were to say I would do $25 as soon as this ends, could I do that? Because I would, and I will. Yeah, man. Let's do it. <laughs> so for those who are just joining us, Tope has committed $25 to Stronger Than Stigma for Mental Health Awareness Month. Uh, at every $100 I, uh, that we raise from these old packs of trading cards that we're opening, I will chew the old gum that's found in there. Uh, so, yeah, that $25 puts us to $100. Uh, so let me just take this out of the package real quick to reveal just another package. So that's clever. Um, shit. All right. Let me go and get water. Before I do this, <laughs> I would feel like a terrible person, but at the very least, I feel like I'm even because I'm donating money to a very important cause, mental health. So let's just say I'm slightly net positive, good person, and I'm okay with that. Because while I am slowly hurting your mental health, barely, I'm hopefully helping. A lot of other people. <sighs> okay. Let me write you down. Twenty five bucks. Oh yeah. Yeah, Tope, you'll get the karma back with the next five star RJ review. Ooh, excellent. <laughs> um <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do one of the broken up ones. I wonder if I can like piece it together, or you just tell me if this is fair, like this amount. Is that? Oh yeah. Enough? Oh my god, yes. Especially after that sound I just sounded. Absolutely. What this? <laughs> um. <laughs> It sounds like a horse hoof on a fucking gravel road. Clippity clop. <laughs> you did this to me. Yes. Tastes like wax. Oh my god. And I'm done. I feel like if someone would ever write some weird ass Pokemon sexual fan fiction and it had Pikachu eating Geodude's ass, that's the exact sound I would have in my head. And I know that's very specific, but that's the only thing I could equate <laughs> what just happened. Wow, I want to take my money back, but I don't, and I just never want that to happen again. Mm. I'm, 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 no, no, I'm so sorry. It's like on that Pokemon analogy, it's like Geodude and Lickitung had a baby, but <laughs> it then had dragon scale and turned to stone. Why do I have it in my arm hair? <laughs> it's, it's everywhere. <laughs> this is the next uh, pandemic, man. Just self quarantine for a few days. Just, just or in case. it's the cure. God, that man. I don't. Let's table that because we could be onto something. Anyway, back to business at hand. Oh yes, 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 yes. Uh, here's a lot I purchased recently. That includes uh, five sets of four packs. So let me just organize these. That's gross. Uh, organize these correctly. 
Yeah. All right. All right. Ooh, that's extra. Uh, cool. So let's see. I already got one of these packs. So we got uh, five total of Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Nice. What's happening, Coops Toys? Welcome. Uh, you just missed me eat, uh, chew another stick of that trading card bubble gum. So that means we've reached two hundred dollars total raised for Stronger Than Stigma. We can get rolling on that next one hundred now. Uh, and I'll eat another one. Little Mermaid packs. That'll be fun. No, never, uh, never liked that movie. Really? Okay. Yeah, I just. It's like what I, I know it's weird, but it's like why does she have to turn into a human at the end? I always felt like that was a cop out. Yeah, I mean it's, it's Disney, you know they're gonna. That's what they're gonna do. Exactly. Um, I'm like, stay hideous. Uh, we got Dick Tracy cards. I'm feeling those will be fun. Uh, Little Shop of Horrors cards. So I'm looking forward to a, a, a maybe a Bill Murray, Steve Martin, some Rick Moranis. I would hope. And uh, hook cards. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Hook me up with those Dante Basco cards, baby. <laughs> uh, and then this is, uh, I did not order these. This is just a little throw in. Uh, E.T. stickers. Hi. Oh, so that'll be fun. That'll be very fun. Would you eat these the stickers? Here. Hmm? For a $1,000, would you eat the stickers? A thousand dollars? Yes. Directly to me? <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah. So here, in honor of the figure podcast that Mo and I did today, uh, I'm shocked he hasn't jumped on. Uh, here are some figures I just got in the mail today. Trying not to damage the actual goods here. So, what's the closest thing? What do you collect, Tope? Do you collect those muscles? Uh, oh, baby, I'm because like I said, seven days alone. I literally all I got to do was work out and get beef. So, collecting the muscles, looking thick. But outside of that, never collected. I, I did that quarter state thing for like a while. I think I still have it in my childhood home closet. I think I was only <clears throat> missing like three or four total. But yeah, I've yeah. never been a collector. Just never uh, it just never appealed to me. It's weird because if you ask me, I'll say it's genetic because I completely, I, I 100% got that shit from my dad. Like my dad's a huge collector. I have a bunch of his trading cards. Uh, he actually, we talked about He's he's been watching these, I guess. Uh, and he told me, like, hey, do you still have all the cards that I had? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you should go through all the Dream Team cards that I had. I'm like, ooh, that's a very good idea. So I think we're going to get this together. Speaking of beef, Tope, I really like this is very good. A little Bam Bam Bigelow action here. I always feel like that's one of the most fun figures there are because you can do so much with, like, the drawing and it was cool design. Yeah, it's got, like, all the tattoos and on the head. This is something – because I don't think I've ever actually, like, held one of these up close. It's got, like, the outline of a singlet on it, which oh. is very weird. You see, like, that little crease right there? Yeah. That's huh. so weird. I like the detail, I'm, though. This is probably me discovering it's a bootleg or something. <laughs> um <laughs> I, of course, uh, bought that at a uh, one of their famous claim sales uh, from Hastel Toy uh, out there in New York. Uh, yeah, Hastel Toy. He's got good stuff. Um, this is a box that has taken a long, long road to get here. Um, this was accidentally shipped out to somebody in... Uh, California, and then there was a mix-up with their order and another order that I got. Same body as Bossman, probably. Yeah, probably. Or like, maybe like a tugboat or something, uh, or um, or uh, earthquake. It probably has the same body model of. But yeah, so this so 
I accidentally shipped their stuff, and I accidentally shipped like the wrong Rick Steiner, and that was a whole thing. But finally got this. This has been like months in the making. Um, allegedly Yuma, hello, welcome to this here live stream. Uh, the Wack Pack with special guest Tope out of Banjo. What up? Tope, while I get this up, why don't you tell them what we do here? Uh, we'll op we'll open up some packs, look at some, look at some toys, just having a good time in quarantine. Yeah, trying to thrive. Just you know, thrive. something to look forward to every day. Okay. Um, yeah, packs of, of trading cards. That is not like packs of you know. Oh, this is not. Who's this from? Okay, no, these are more cards. Um, but again, this is another one of those things where I got a little too trigger happy, and bought uh, a set instead of a bunch of packs. So again, we can go through this like you know a handful, a pinchful at a time. But here's a set of the history of WrestleMania, complete set of 150 collector's cards, series two, uh, from Classic. I used to have these cards as a kid, and they're they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, so those will be cool to go through as well. Um, all right, so yeah, this isn't uh, the box I thought it was. This coming up is the box I thought it was. This is the last box that I have. Um, and here we go. Let's hope I don't. I swear to God, I'm just tempting fate with this knife. Let's <laughs> burn it all down. I. Uh, what's been getting you uh, through this quar, man? Obviously, I've been fucking on a purchase spree, so that's what's been keeping me going day to day. But uh, biggest thing for me is just trying to stay active. Uh, you know, it, it's easy to kind of get caught up in your own thoughts in your own head. But, like, honestly, wake up every day and be like, I'm going to achieve one goal, one thing. And for me, it's a lot of times been working on more content for our Patreon. It's been working on my own things. Uh, RJ hates rap. Uh, just to make, just have a goal, something obtainable, and trust me, at the end of the day, you feel so much better if you look back at your week and you're like, I did seven things that I wouldn't have done any other time in the world. You just feel a lot better about yourself. Yeah, dude, you have been on an absolute tear with the, uh, the content for the Arcade Audio Patreon, specifically for, uh, RJ Hates Rap and Podswoggle. What the fuck is this box? <laughs> that is a well-wrapped box. That's how boxes should be wrapped. Jesus. This box, Dare this you. entire shipment is cursed. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so because there was the mix-up um, and I had to send the correct figure uh, to them, I like wrote a little note. And I put a few like really cool uh, old cards in there and a note. Um, and they send me a note back, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, so this is the Rick Steiner that I was supposed to get. Uh, but yeah, I love this Rick Steiner figure. Very colorful. Say, that could also be the same body model <laughs> as the Bam Bam. All right. I'm going to close this note since I'm officially done with it. Okay. And then here we got Oh, that's a loose ass arm, huh? Okay, cool. Uh, Repo Man. Oh. Honestly, looks in good shape. I didn't pay that much for it, so I ain't too pissed. It's not like I'm going to be playing with that anymore. But that ain't great. Looks like a pest dispenser of some sort. Just in general, eh, not what you want. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to work out to get that pez dispenser body. Long neck, tight waist, nothing Candy else. comes out of your mouth instead of in. Uh, here we got uh, El Matador. A little Tito Santana action there. This is in very good shape. Very tight action. Uh, very clean. Um, uh, but he, uh, he, you know, he looks uh, like his eyes could, you know, use some work. But oh, that's on the guy. What's that? So not only slightly offensive. Like that's like a uh, three honest. out of ten. 
Speaking of only slightly offensive, why is there tape on the fucking feet? Speaking of slightly offensive, uh, we got here. Fuck money himself, Virgil. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, good action. Pretty clean. These are all getting a bath tonight anyway. Uh, we're not done. The hits keep rolling. A few more left. So just all at 7 yeah, o'clock? Again. What's that? It's at 7 o'clock. And sorry, it's uh, 7 o'clock every day for all the essential workers. Everyone in New York will scream out their window and celebrate. There's a guy who lives close to me who just plays a trombone for a minute. He just blows on as loud as he can. So always know when it's 7 o'clock because I just hear a very loud trombone. Seven o'clock and all's well. <laughs> uh, we got here a little Rick the Model Martel. Good action. Pretty clean. Uh, yeah. Take that. I think this is the last one. Yeah. Officially the last one. Completing my set with the two different singlets. Um, oh, Mr. Perfect here. I had the blue, now I got the yellow. What's going on with the arms, though? One arm is a little... Really yeah, this one has out. the action, so this one's been oh, okay. used. Yeah. That's a good-looking yeah. model. Yeah. Um, oh, boy, big toy day. <sighs> you want to open anything? You want to open up a bag of kale or something, Topa? See why? Why you gotta? Why you gotta? Don't 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 bitch shame me. Don't how, 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 how dare I, you? I don't know what else you would have to open up. Hey Lizzie, uh, let's, let's let's see. All right, no, no. I'm just gonna do a quick. Yeah, I, I do have some broccoli hanging out. I got some toilet paper. We can do that. Um, let's see. Well, yeah, don't, I don't, something. what's that? I don't got much. So I don't got much. Oh, I, I can show you the mirror that I bought that came in broken. But yeah, I don't have much of anything. Peter! Um, well, that sounds awful. While you do that, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, wrap things up. Um, here on the Whack Pack, uh, where every day Rip rips open another pack of trading cards uh, and whatever else just happens to come in that day. Uh, and of course, for uh, the duration of Mental Health Awareness Month, we are raising money for Stronger Than Stigma a Foundation dedicated towards smashing and bashing and all out distinguishing the stigma that comes around uh, mental health, getting help, talking about it, all that stuff. Um, it's bullshit. Shouldn't be around. Uh, every $100, I will eat the old gum that is coming in these packs, as I did on this stream. It's awful for my mouth. It's good yeah. for everyone's head to do that. Um, so feel free to go back and watch that once this is up on IGTV. And, um, yeah, so we're set at another $100 until the next one of those. That puts us at $200 raised, which rules. Um, but, yeah, uh, Tope, did you uh, find anything and or uh, where can the people find you on the Internet and what do you want them to know about? I found nothing except uh, I, I do have these uh... – these ice cream, oh, where is it? Where is it? These ice cream shoes that I got for my from uh, my job at Redacted Company. place called Complex. Got these ice cream shoes. Those are oh yeah, pretty sweet. From uh, the I think Pharrell's Billionaire Boys Club, and that's basically this is the closest thing to being a collector I have are, are these shoes. Are you like about to just come into a bunch of shoes and stuff? I can't Working confirm there. or deny, but I won't say no. Beautiful. Uh, and yeah, where can people find you online? Uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, uh, the Tope Network. Follow me on Instagram, literally right here. But that's Dr. Tope out of Banjo. Can't spell that. Well, then you're not trying hard enough. Most importantly, RJ hates rap. If you like rap music, you're hate our show. If you hate rap music, you hate our show. If you like funny, you might like it. So yeah, RJ hates the rap. Wherever you find podcasts, uh, join our Patreon. We're gonna have exclusive content. Trying to get something up there every single week. So, but yeah, 
that's uh, my number one thing right now, RJ's Rap. So uh, subscribe, follow, like, comment, smash something. I don't know uh, what the kids do. Smash it. Uh, well, just as we're, we're pulling it in here for a landing, uh, Lizzie Cross and Peter Williams uh, donated $25. So we're a quarter of the way to that next stick, baby. Uh, Thank you very much um, for that donation uh, and getting us kicked off towards the next stick. Nothing? It is, it is, it's a beautiful thing. It is. it is a beautiful thing. Except the sound. Uh, it's, it's hideous. It's a hideous sound. A yeah. few eating 11 year old gum. No, that was the 30 year old gum. Oh, that was a 30 gum? Yeah. God yeah. Damn. The 11 year old gum is individually wrapped still. But no less hard. <laughs> so, um, great. I'll just be thinking about that uh, for the rest of everything. And here's the thing we can get there tomorrow. Because, or we can get there before Memorial Day. Because we're doing this every single day. I'm going live. So set your notifications on for whenever I go live. You don't have to do it for posts. I don't post that much anyway. And, you know, whatever. So, yeah. So uh, set the notifications. We're opening up a pack of cards every single day. And, uh, yeah. And we're also raising money uh, for Stronger Than Stigma. For Mental Health Awareness Month. Uh, for June, I have no idea what we're raising money for. Uh, so by all means, how, uh, we got a question here because there's a question thing. Uh, Pete, dude, you're the first one to actually use this little question box. How are you getting these packs? Um, I am getting these packs, uh, several different ways, uh, mainly through eBay. So I've become an eBay person now. Um, I started it out on Amazon, uh, and because there's vendors on there with a lot of packs. And then, uh, one of our dear friends, uh, through the internets and the podcasts and whatnot at stand the drive there, uh, has also been purchasing some on eBay and sending them to me. So if you want to send me cards, by all means, let's do it. And if you have some cards you want to open up, we can do a dual live deal like this. Um, yeah, just like this. Uh, so that's how we're getting the cards. Thank you for the question. Um, that's a great question. Yeah, very good. Very good. Uh, yeah, and now I'm, I'm just, there's just everything on eBay. So it's like, oh, shit. All right, well, this is what I, this is what I do these afternoons now. Um, hey, Mullet, look what just came in today. But yeah. Go ahead and send your suggestions of uh, what we're going to raise money for next month. Uh, and uh, we'll, you know, because, yeah, I'm still looking up some uh, organizations and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, but we're, like I said, fucking 10 minutes ago, uh, let's go ahead. Oof, motherfucker, yes. Um, let's go ahead and get on out of here. Uh, and, of course, yeah, turn on the notifications. And, yeah, Tope, thank you so much. Of course. I mean, came in again. Well, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Boy, mullet. Oh, boy. So, of all days for our uh, toy episode of Poswoggle to go up, uh, this is everything else that was in. Mullet, are you able to join? I don't know if you can do more than two on these things. Oops. We'll find out. I'm very interested to see if you can get through people. If you get through people, it's not going to be good. It's going to be a bad thing. I feel like I see that shit all the time on on this. Like, there's just layers of, like, here's all these people live. Uh, mullet until then. Uh, got this guy. Got this guy in. Repo in. Virgil and Martel, you requested. Uh, I didn't get the... I don't have it coming in. Hmm. Yeah, it's not showing up on my end. And Probably also... A fancy way to do it that we can figure out for uh, next time. Yeah. 
Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Well, we're learning. We're we're learning all the time. No. Okay. Well, we've already been going on so long. Lastly, Mullet just uh, came in today as well. Sent again. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm getting anything in. Got to figure it out for the poker cards. You got him right. Oh. Whether, if we got to oh. go live on something else, uh, we'll figure that out. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, let me see this. That... No, that only blocks. That's only a message. Huh. Um, okay. Well, we'll figure something out. That's for damn sure. Um, so, Jesus Christ, for the last time, Tope, thank you so much for joining. We'll figure out something to get the three of us goons on Absolutely. the damn stream. Um, stay safe. Stay sane. And remember... With all this shit opening back up, just because you can, doesn't mean you necessarily should. So, bam. Uh, thanks for everyone watching. Thanks for everyone watching on IGTV, if you made it this fucking far. Um, yeah, have a great night. Happy Friday. See you tomorrow. Oh, actually, Tope. Uh, uh, yeah, never mind. For the donation. It doesn't matter, because it doesn't like keep a rolling total. Donate whenever you can. I was like, oh, you got to do it on this. No, you don't. Bye. <laughs>